Yeah, I don't know. I guess they're still doing virtual. I don't. I guess the courthouse isn't open all the way. But yeah, we had a virtual court hearing, which worked out because I would have had to push it back because I had already um, scheduled my vacation. So, um, Michael filed for divorce in January, and so this is, was the court date. Well, actually, we had based, both told her his lawyer that. I don't know why I said her. We had both told his lawyer that we wanted to just agree to a divorce, but then he had changed his mind and said he wanted to get an annulment. So that's why we had to go through court. But if if he would have just like followed through on his original agreement, we both were just going to sign to get divorced and we were going to be done with it. And we would only have to go to court to basically get the judge to sign off on it. But when he changed his mind and said that he didn't want a divorce, he wanted an annulment. That's why we had a court date today for it. So, first of all, when we first logged into the Zoom, the judge was like, oh, can I see the marriage certificate? And, um, and the, the, his lawyer was, because I, I didn't have a lawyer. I was representing myself. So, it was his lawyer, him, me, and the judge. So, the judge asked for the marriage certificate. She said that, um, she could send it over, like, on a call, but she hadn't I guess sent it over before I don't know so he was like I'm just not really understanding how her getting a name change would like be grounds for an annulment so his lawyer was like oh no we're not saying that that's our grounds for wanting an annulment our grounds for wanting an annulment is because the show defrauded him and like the name change was just something that we added in there because I'm under the impression that Miss Jones went through something in another state and that's why she got her name legally changed. So I'm already like, oh, his lawyer's starting with the lies. Like, they starting with the BS already. So in my head, I'm like wanting to respond because don't put out a claim like that on me. That's something that's like not true. Like, don't do that. So I was like, let me just keep my composure and not say anything because I don't even have a lawyer. So I don't need to be like trying to interrupt this stuff. So I just let her finish talking. And she was basically like, oh, well, Michael feels that the whole show is a fraud. Like, they told him that they were going to match him for love. And they matched him for drama and ratings. They never really wanted a happy marriage. They knew that they weren't going to be good together. And they purposely put them together just so they could get their drama and their ratings, blah, blah, blah. So the judge is like, well, Miss Jones, do you agree with that? Like, do you agree that you were defrauded by the show? And I was like, no, I don't agree with that. Like, the show put us together because they thought we would be good together because Michael lied about who he is. I was like, honestly, Judge, I don't know if you've ever seen the show, but during the show, it comes out that he was a pathological liar. And he lied during our whole marriage. Like, he lied about everything. So, the only person that's frauded, defrauded in the situation is me because I was under the impression that this man was the things that he said he was. And he's none of those things. So... Um, he's like, well, what was he lying about? Like, what do you mean? And I'm like, he lied about everything. Like, he lied about his job. He lied about his how much money he made. He lied about things that he said to my family. He lied about how he got on the show. Like, there's so many. He lied about being a yoga teacher. I'm like, there's so many lies. If you if you pick any episode of the show, anyone, just pick an episode. You'll find out that he's a liar. Like, you'll see it for yourself. And so the judge is like, well, why do you think that? the producers believed him then like how did the producers fall for it and i was like your honor he is convincing like he convinced the producers he convinced my family he convinced my friends he convinced america i'm like and honestly he just convinced his lawyer that i'm running from some charges in another state and that's why i changed my name which judge i'm sure you know if i had open charges i wouldn't be able to legally change my name so for them to say that when i've never been arrested i've never even been in handcuffs so for you to insinuate that I was running from something and that's why I changed my name, like, don't ever put an allegation like that on me. Like, that is something serious. That could mess up my reputation. Like, my job could be like, oh, wait, she has other charges in different states. Like, let's look into that. I mean, they're not going to find anything, but, like, don't make claims like that when they're not true. Like, when I tell you the most I ever had was a student ticket, I have never been in trouble with the law at all. Like, never. So, I, I was just, like, irritated by that. So, I, I made sure to bring that up. Like, he convinced his lawyer that she, like, she didn't do research. He convinced her that. So, he can be convincing. That's why the producers believed him. 
And so he's like, well, um, asked his lawyer, like, what did she have to say in response to that? And his lawyer was like, well, you know, that was her experience on the show. But um, if she feels like she was defrauded by Michael and Michael feels like he was defrauded by the show, then ultimately they both feel defrauded. So they should get an annulment just based on the fact that it wasn't a real marriage. Like, none of it was real. And so he's like... Oh, so then she brings up how Michael never watched the show. He was cold called. So somebody just randomly reached out to him and called him for the show. He didn't know what he was signing up for. None of it was real. Like, he had never watched the show. So he literally had no idea what was happening. So the judge was like, so if I watch their wedding, would it look like a real wedding or will it look like it's fake? And, he, and then she was like, well, I mean, that was just day one. I'm like, yeah, because you know it's going to look real. Like, you know that it's going to look like we actually got married. Like, it's not going to look like for drama or for ratings. So she was like, well, you know, Your Honor, like, that was at the beginning. They knew these two people wouldn't be together. And she kept speaking for me. Like, I'm sure Ms. Jones would agree that, you know, the show defrauded them. The show promised them, like, a happy, healthy, loving marriage. And that's not what they got. I'm pretty sure she would agree to the fact that, like, what she was led on to believe is not what actually was going on. And so, um, I forget what the judge had asked me. Oh, he said, so what about Miss Jones? What was the drama that she was contributing? This is the one time he asked Michael a question. He literally never asked Michael any questions. And so, he's like, uh, what about her? And I, literally before Michael re could respond, I was like, nothing because i was honest i was honest about who i am i was honest about the things i had to work on i was honest about my past relationship i was honest about what i was looking for like i was honest about all that stuff so what drama did i bring like so then mike was like no it's just that the, he literally never even addressed the question he just started talking about what well, the producers put you in certain situations to get a reaction out of you like the producers purposely like will have us do scenes where they know we're gonna like fuss or fight or be in an argument and like the producers purposely put you in just kept saying the producers purposely do this and then he's like so and then he said the producers and see, set up a scene to show that his uncle had, his family member had never died. I'm like, literally that didn't happen. Like America didn't think your uncle died. Not the producers, the producers believed it. We all believed it. So no, like the producers didn't set that up. So Michael was saying that and then like, basically his lawyer just kept saying like, he was like, why? why do they need an annulment though like why can't they just get a divorce and she's like because they just they didn't know what they signed up for neither one of them wanted to be married to each other the producers purposely put them together so that they could you know argue and this would be drama for ratings like they knew for a fact that these people wouldn't be good together and oh my god his lawyer said something it was like oh that's what she said she said if these producers really wanted to create like long lasting relationships then why would they not dig further in this why wouldn't they look into his background if they really want like long standing relationships like why wouldn't they do more research and you know fi really figure out who this person is which I'm not gonna lie I was like that's a valid point like that was the one time I was like alright she made a good point but the rest of the time I'm just like nah she don't know what she's talking about so the judge like was like well Miss Jones what do you want do you want to know me I was like look I will take whatever I can get at this point. I just want to be done with the situation. So if we get an annulment, great. If we got to get divorced, I'm okay with that too. Ultimately, I just want to be separated from this. And the judge started laughing at me because I'm like, give me whatever you got. Like, I'll take it. Packers <laughs> can't be choosers, okay? So, yeah, in the end of it, the judge was like, I'm going to give you an annulment. Like, I don't really... I don't really agree that they didn't know what they were signing up for because I think Miss Jones went into this and she really did want to find the love of her life. He literally said that. He believed me. He could see it. So he was like, I really think that they both knew what they were signing up for. They were two very smart, brilliant people. Like, they were smart enough to know that they were getting married to a stranger and that it was likely going to be some drama happening because it's a TV show. So, yeah. He was like, y'all get an annulment. I'm going to grant it for y'all. I'm like, yes. I was never married. Married who? I was never married, married who? I'm single, I'm single, I'm single. Ay, ay, ay. So yeah, it worked out for me. And guess what? I didn't spend a dollar on a lawyer. 
Oh, and apparently Michael's lawyer is also representing Brandon. So there's that. Because um, the judge asks, well, what about the other people on the TV show? Would they all agree that it's all just a fake marriage? And his lawyer goes, well, I don't know about everybody, but I am representing somebody else from their season. And he would agree. Brandon and Michael don't count, okay? <laughs> like, they literally don't count. They're the two people that do not count the most. So, yeah, I'm free. I'm done talking about this. This is the last time I ever speak on that man. We're separated. We're done. It's over. I can put all of this behind me. Pretend it never happened. Don't ask me about my marriage. Don't ask me about a wedding because I've never been married. I'm single. I'm looking for my husband, and he's coming soon. That's it.